Hey guys, welcome back to the Trini Zone, or I guess welcome to the Trini Zone. Of course, um, thank you guys for showing so much love and support while I've been doing what I've been doing, you know. Um, today, I have a very interesting topic. Well, it's 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 more of a fun and exciting topic because of because it's development because it's advancement of the origin trail decentralized network and today we're going to be talking about the food safety market we're going to be hitting everything you need to know from the beginning um, we're going to be talking about what exactly the food safety market is from there we're going to move into understanding all of the players involved in the food safety market who exactly is involved in this initiative and how big of a scope is it and then we're going to be talking about are they or are they not utilizing the origin trail decentralized network and knowledge graph for this initiative how essential is it well stay tuned to find out today let's dive baby all right we're going to start off by reading this particular portion here it says within the global food industry food growers manufacturers processors importers exporters distributors retailers and packagers are all expected to be certified according to food safety standards we're just going to pause here real quick so from the onset we're understanding the scope we're talking about every part of the food supply chain requires certification so let's go this highlights the importance of food safety and certification the food certification market expected to be worth 11.45 billion dollars by 2023 that's next year is vertical and multi-sided and shares a common need. All involved stakeholders should share food safety data in well-defined, automated, and robust ways using secured and controlled mechanisms to enhance trust and collaboration. The EU-funded Food Safety Market, or FSM project, will develop an industrial data platform to give a boost to the way food certification takes place in Europe. Specifically, it will build on state-of-the-art blockchain technologies to create an open and collaborative virtual environment that facilitates the exchange and connection of data between food safety actors interested in sharing information that is critical to certification. As you can see, the Food Safety Market Initiative is going to be affecting all of Europe, all of the certifying bodies, all of the entities of stakeholder of the supply chain of any part of the food supply chain that needs certification. This project will impact. So we're on the Food Safety Market's website right now. And as you can see, they have a beautiful website and they state three points by which they will be in interacting with uh, the supply chains. They know that they will be interacting with these certification bodies. They'll be interacting with food distributors and retailers, as well as farmers and food manufacturers. Now, what, when we think food supply chains, or when we usually think these sorts of products, we're thinking like a small farmer on a plot of land somewhere. But actually, you will be surprised that this is more than just small farmers. These are these are massive food networks throughout all of Europe, with some of their biggest system integrators like UbiTech and some of their biggest semantic, um, I guess, authorities like OnTuText and. Um, Let's uh, let's take a look at who else is involved in this project. It says here that there are 11 partners from nine EU countries involved in this. And of course, as we've read before, they'll be leveraging advanced semantic technologies that can enable a highly sophisticated data interoperability and integration capabilities. Now, obviously we know that this is what Origin Trail, exactly what we're here to do. And of course we bring blockchain to all of these ecosystems by our blockchain agnostic infrastructure. So this is why um, you're going to see that Origin Trail is not just a little part of this puzzle. It's not just a little piece. It's going to be the heart of this project. It, it is the heart of this project. So as we can see right here, we have onto text, UB tech, agri V and of course the origin trail team, which is the trace labs core developer. And it says origin trail. I wanted to know more about some of the entities working with in this um, projects. When we take a deeper look at the 
um, official um, grant by on the European Commission's website. We read about the food safety market project objective here, but it also talks about this particular group. Um, I, I unfortunately cannot pronounce it. I do not know if I'm going to say it right, but I'm just going to say Tov. Forgive me. Right. Tov Austria group. That's what it is for this video. If it's not that, well, you guys can let me know. So yes, it says extensive piloting is going to take place with subsidiaries of the Tov Austria Group, a European provider of inspection and certification services that is a pioneer in the digitalization of the inspection business that has a presence in more than 40 countries and annual turnover of 200 million euros and over 17 hundred employees. In this way, the product is going to accelerate the pace by which the group adopts digital innovation and offers data-driven services to its client around the world. So we can see that th this is not some small um, organization or some small group. These are massive entities all taking part, bringing all of their skill set. And for example, if we head right back to the FSM's webpage, it says it will be interacting with certification bodies. It makes it easier for certification bodies. And of course, the Tav Austria Group, a European provider of inspection and certification services, um, these things are, it's going to all work well together with everyone. But UB Tech is also another interesting player, an interesting part of this ecosystem. Now, UB Tech is, as they say on their website, UB Tech is a leading, highly innovative software house, system integrator, and technology provider established to provide leading edge intelligent technical solutions and consulting services to businesses, organizations, and governments in order to allow the efficient and effective secure access and communication with various heterogeneous information resources and services anytime, anywhere. So this is what UBTEC stands to do. Basically, they are a systems integrator and a technology provider. Now, of course, within the FSM uh, page, we did see UBTEC here. We can see that each entity, so far, we can see each entity within the FSM project has a particular role. They're, they've been brought in and they've, they are being leveraged for their particular um, use cases. And if we take a look at UBTech, some of UBTech's partners over here, we can see that they have CVS Mobile IT Solutions as a partner. They have Dwarvnet as a partner, which by the way, Dwarvnet, if we head over there, Dwarvnet, they have Microsoft Plantas. I think this is one of the biggest, uh, I think like wineries or something, refineries or something like that. I can't remember exactly, but they're pretty massive. And I also know that they are flying the Origin Trail logo. So you guys are seeing that Origin Trail is up there in industry as it relates to um, connections. They have IBM Israel and Hawaii Technologies on their partnership roster. So this is a system integrator. They have a specialization and, and check their specialty. Their specialty is in system integration and custom software development, design and development of integrated IT solutions and tailor-made software, design, development, customization, deployment, and support of enterprise-driven custom software applications and solutions. So you can see that UBTech is a custom producing um, front end uh, solutions to massive entities like governments uh, and as well, um, you know, B2B, many B2B and G2G um, use cases. So they are equipped, they are massive, they are well connected. I even saw that they have um, Sony Ericsson. Yes, that's right. Sony Ericsson as one of their partners. As you can see here, they have the Ericsson Telecommunications. They have Sony Ericsson. That's right. The Sony Ericsson we all know. 
um, their website isn't working right now for some reason. Yep, but they have Sony Ericsson as a partner. Um, so, so we're going through the partners and we can see here that this is actually an all-star lineup. But trust me, it gets even more amazing because then we start diving into agro no. Now, who is Agrono? What's the significance of Agrono? Well, you'll be pleased to know that Agrono, um, on their website, they say, we help prevent food recalls. They are able to predict which hazards may affect ingredients and monitor supplier performance all around the world, safeguarding customer trust. So we can see that these are some established players, but the real question becomes, who leverages Agronov to have them be the coordinator for the European project itself? They are actually the project coordinators. Well, as you can see, they have Coca-Cola, Congra, Sagenta. So Agronov does this through their platform called Foodakai. It says the food risk prediction platform that helps food safety teams make informed preventative measures and avoid product recalls. Foodakai is an intelligent online system that minimizes food safety risks in your supply chain by delivering insights about hazards in raw materials and products. Foodakai has a user-friendly interface that generates life statistics and risk in just a few clicks. Foodakai offers food companies notifications and access to global food safety incidents, Data justified hazards analysis through live statistics. Live risk estimation for ingredients and products. With Foodakai, you can be confident that you're always up to date with the global food safety landscape. So how does Foodakai work? Add your preferences and customize your alarms. Get notifications inside the application and via email about new incidents that are relevant to your supply chain. So the real question, I guess, would be who leverages um, this Foodakai um, platform that allows for Agrono to hold such a prominent position within the actual grant itself, as they are considered the um, project one of the, uh, the project coordinator. So when we take a look at the Foodakai platform, well, we see that we're talking about Beijing 2020, Coca-Cola, Congra, Global Gap. So these are all um, some massive entities. I wanted to know which Coca-Cola, um, of course, in particular. And as you can see here, Coca-Cola Hellenic is actually the world's third largest Coca-Cola anchor bottler in terms of volume with sales of more than 2 billion unit cases. So we're talking about a massive amount of volume and throughput. Not to mention Congra, which has a revenue of about 11 billion in 2020. Of course, uh, the size and scope and breadth and width of the influence of these entities, you can see why they have um, the respect that they do. Oh, by the way, one of their brands is actually the Slim Jim. <laughs> Who would have known? So we've spoken about Agrono. We see that they are massive titans. We know about Ontotech. And next we're going to talk about AgriV, who is also a, a giant um, in this particular space. And they say digital agriculture platform empowering growers and agri-food value chain with real-time insights. Now, of course, they have a platform you can see here by which they give these various um, recommendations based on their analytics. So they offer data-driven solutions. But let's listen to AgriV explain exactly what they do. Today, we see a world in which one of the oldest industries, agriculture, is embracing digital technologies to achieve resource efficient, profitable, and environmentally sustainable food production. Agrivi is driven by its vision to positively impact billions of people by digitalizing agriculture and changing the way food is produced. Agrivi's digital agriculture solutions help producers produce healthy, safe, and nutritious food in an efficient and sustainable way. 
Digital agriculture technologies offer a simpler and smarter way of doing work. Information straight from the field is available in just a few clicks. Making data-driven decisions and securing complete traceability for food standards was never that easy. From planting to harvesting, from food processing to retail, Agrivi solutions support companies across the entire food value chain in implementing digital transformation projects. In Europe, the USA, Latin America, Africa, and Asia, in over 100 countries, from smallholders to Fortune 500 companies and governments. Now, I thought it was very cool, and you would be surprised to know that Nestle themselves actually leverages AgriV for their um, solution. It says, Nestle is one of the world's leading food producers in the world. The company has been in business for more than, for the company has been in business for over 150 years and today more than 2,000 food products under their brand are currently available to customers in 186 countries. Okay. It says, all of Nestle's contractors have to comply with a strict set of standards and instructions defined in the Nestle Responsible Sourcing Standard. In order to ensure the company's sustainability agenda is met and help their contractors use sustainable agronomic practices, Nestle is using AgriV 360 supply chain management platform, creating complete traceability throughout the chain and ensuring a steady supply of top quality produce. They've done research among the top 94 industry reports and surprised to say, or should I say, I am not surprised to say, that even among the lights of John Deere, you guys know John Deere's, isn't it John Deere tractors they're using in Ukraine to tour, to, to pull Russian um, tanks and stuff? He, even among John Deere, AgriV was above the Deere company. It was rated higher than John Deere. And I think everybody here knows John Deere. They're a household name pretty much. Even in the Caribbean and Trinidad, we knew John Deere. So yeah, to see that these is this these are the high quality participants, these are the high quality members of this FSM group, and their platforms are all basically being merged or working together. They're all working together to produce um these. Uh, to, 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 to innovate upon the European food certification standards and by, by extension, innovate upon their food supply chains. And so the real question is, we see how massive all these entities are. We see how massive the scope of this is. We see that there are Fortune 500 entities, all the way from Fortune 500 entities, all the way down to the low level farmers. So the real question is, what is Origin Trail's role in this? And is Origin Trail essential at all to any of these entities? Now, by the way, we already know that Origin Trail has an ongoing collaboration with Onto Text. Origin Trail already has collaborations going on with Onto Text, which is the exact same company that has a partnership with Fujitsu. And you remember in my other video I spoke about with a primary key, databases that hold RDF triples are called RDF triple stores. Now, there are various triple stores out there, but some of the two of the biggest triple stores that exist in today's society that are used by various enterprise enterprises are Onto Text and Stardog. And now what we really need to ask ourselves is what is the role of Origin Trail within this ecosystem? Well, what we're going to find out is Origin Trail is so fundamentally um, essential uh, it, that it, 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 Origin Trail basically is the project because of its role. Now, not saying that the other parts are not equally important, they are, but it's just that Without Origin Trail, there is no ecosystem in true. So let's begin to see how that is true. And to do that, 
let's listen to Brandon Mayer discuss what's going to happen with all of these different data sources from Agravi and from Agrono, which is the Fudakai platform with Coca-Cola, um, um, Congra brands, and all these other entities. Where is all of these? Where is all of this data going to go? How is it going to play together? How are they all going to gel together? Let's find out. This is really the decentralized knowledge graph in action to the FSM project and data marketplace. And there's only a couple of slides. There's a lot more uh, information to uncover, but I'll try to explain uh, very briefly what the FSM is and then how, it, how Origin Trail is used. Um, so the FSM is actually uh, the food safety market. It's an SME powered industrial data platform. So actually all of these companies you see on the screen, they're all partners in the project. And the idea is to boost competitiveness of European food certification. It's a little bit of a mouthful, but uh, it, it really helps uh, just to point in your head that this is about um, really European standards in, in, in terms of certification. The mission is to create a transparent data powered certification ecosystem for a safe food supply chain. That's the official mission of the project. And all of these companies on the, on the list are, uh, or institutions are actually part of it including universities, companies such as Ontotext, uh, all of these are our partners. Um, and as you can see, Trace Labs as well as core developers of Origin Trail. Hey, bro. What? Oh my God. Um, so what is interesting here for us is to talk about this knowledge marketplace within the FSM. And essentially this project combines a lot of technical components. There's semantic services, uh, quite a lot of cooperation there with the team from Ontotext who are building, by the way, GraphDB and, and other semantic services, blockchains, as we mentioned, access control mechanisms uh, on a very advanced level. Ubitech is one of the lead partners there. Several existing platforms like Fudakai, Agrivi, uh, others. But the common thread here is that they share a common data pool. So uh, all of these organizations that are using these platforms, um, that's food certification bodies, uh, European uh, institutions in general, but also farmers, food companies, food producers, they all share common data pool. And the implementation of Origin Trail is really here to index these FSM data sets for discoverability. So we're going to go now into how that works. And uh, before we just go into that, I just want to point out that we're speaking about this. This is one of the knowledge marketplace, one of the knowledge incentivization tools that are being built uh, to, to um, uh, complement Origin Trail version 6. So they are the tool stack. Uh, not just them, but they are one of the main components of the tool stack that are going to be uh, part uh, and built on top of V6. Hey, bro. What? Oh, my God. Uh, these are knowledge tokens, knowledge wallets, marketplaces, and tenders. And the idea there is that you're able to tokenize your knowledge or assets, um, create assets really out of the knowledge with fungible and non fungible tokens, create sort of a, 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 a knowledge management wallet with marketplaces and tenders where you can actually monetize it. So you can see that Origin Trail um, will be an essential pillar within this ecosystem, working with all of these giants and the data from these different platforms. Now, not saying that every single piece of data from all over the globe is going to be going there, but at the very least, the European data, the European certification, which is what this initiative is all about, that's what we're going to be managing and looking at. And of course, we already know that food is not, it doesn't stay in one area. So in the same way, the SCAN um, initiative started expanding. Um, I, would, uh, you, I wouldn't be surprised um, if other nation states and other um, entities want to hop on, hop on board and start building on the DKG. So guys, 
I am very excited because version 6 is coming. As you can see on my screen, UAL's Web3 assets are coming and it's coming so quickly. So um, it's coming at an amazing time when the space really needs it, when everyone is so confused about what they need to be doing in crypto. I think that version 6 will light a fire under a lot of people um, to get them really pushing to building the right sort of technologies now with version six and as we can see from this thread by uh yuri well we see here that he says he says i don't think a lot of people notice this he says training certificate solution is now live in five countries and over 10k certificates issued by bsi uk have been secured on origin trail in the last months Ads rollout continue to 200k plus certificates will be powered by the DKG annually. So what people didn't really understand here to me is that we've only really seen 10k. We still have 190k plus um, waiting. Now, of course, we do not know why. We do not know what reasons that may be. But one can ponder that V6 allow for the expansion and the growth of that ecosystem as well. Not to mention this um, initiative with BSI and all the things we're doing with the pharmaceutical industry. We're also talking about what that's going to do, what V6 will unlock for the marketplaces, the knowledge marketplaces that Branamir is talking about here. I just want to point out that we're speaking about this. This is one of the knowledge marketplace, one of the knowledge incentivization tools that are being built uh, to, to um, uh, complement Origin Trail version 6. So they are the tool stack, uh, not just them, but they are one of the main components of the tool stack that are going to be uh, part uh, and built on top of V6. All of these things are different components of V6 DKG topics, all of our supercharging NFTs, all of these things are V6. So what we're looking at to me is V6 unlocking um, the floodgates, as you will, or V6 really putting a stamp that here is Origin Trail. And this is the power of the decentralized knowledge graph for real. Um, so I'm very excited. I hope you guys enjoy this journey with origin trail enjoy changing the world with decentralized knowledge graph enjoy building and um yeah i will continue to create this content um you know you guys know what you already need to do that is stay beautiful and peace and love but not just sometimes you see my hair today always